Hello, welcome back to Five Power Threat Defense training video series. I am Nanda. In the previous video, we saw how to configure AGL with Flex configuration. In this video, let's see how to enable or configure ERGRP using Flex configuration. Let's take an example that I need to configure the Five Power Threat Defense with these. Uh, ESRP configuration with um, ESRP administrative distance 10 and then uh, send the router uh, ID as this value and then uh, configure the network for uh, both inside and outside with these values. Uh, let's see how we can achieve this using uh, flex configuration. First I need to define a, um, two vari uh, three variables one is for administrative distance and then for router ID and one for the network <coughs> so um, since we already has and uh, predefined uh, the variable uh, let's try to reuse this mm, ehrp is the value the default value is 10 i'm going to change it to uh, 1 the default value is 1 i'm going to change it to 10 and then let's see if it has um, router ID variable I already have router ID variable ID um, the, uh, the luckily the pre, uh, configuration that I have is uh, pointed to the right IP address which I wanted to configure one one two sixteen ten dot one. if you want to change you can change and the third variable is uh, for the EHRP network um, since we don't have let's try to create a new one Okay, so um, since I'm going to send two net values, I'm going to set multiple and then uh, give two uh, values. So um, we have created uh, three variables. Three variables. Um, one for AS router ID and then the for network. Let's create a flex configuration for which I'm going to use the default uh, template which is provided on the system, which is going to help make my life a little easier. Mm, uh, use this EHRP configuration and take a copy of it. Um, here it has um, we have predefined the variable uh, it says that ehrps uh, which is already there and with the right value again uh, for for the router id uh, it's already there pre-populated so what i can do is on the network uh, which is not here uh, with the values is not here so i'm going to insert the text which i had uh, created create a variable and then um, assign the text variable which I have created. So the moment we inserted you can see that variable is, will be populated here. Yeah. Um, rest of the things I, um, we may not require so uh, either you can and delete those, uh, delete those, delete those configuration which is not required. Um, so here the default template says as every time. Um, Sometimes this is required uh, because when you deploy uh, a new set of configuration, the FMC may negate these CLIs. So in those cases, you can keep it as every time. So every deployment, uh, irrespective of the configuration exists or not. These policy policy will be deployed to the device over again and again for every deployment. So I'm going to save this. Use this flex configuration object on the flex configuration policy. 
EHRP, the policy that we have created as uh, had come here. I'm going to use it here, save the configuration, and then check the configuration with the preview configuration. Now let's check the preview configuration. As you could see that uh, it is sending the desired configuration that we intend to send. Deploy the policy to the device. Now the policy is uh, successfully deployed. Let's verify it on the device. So you could see that uh, EHRP has been configured, and we can also verify that on the transcript of the last deployment. So similarly, uh, if you want to edit edit the existing config, uh, EHRP configuration or to remove, again you can use the, um, simply you can't delete this and then expect that FMC to go and negate the configuration from the FTD. Uh, what you have to do is um, delete this as well, go and uh, create a flex configuration uh, object which would clear the configuration. Example. If I want to remove the EHRP configuration, um, I have I can use any of these uh, predefined EHRP clear config all. Uh, so I let let's uh, use this predefined um, EHRP flex power objects for clearing the EHRP which already been configured. So all I have to do is I remove the previous um, previous configuration and then. Add the default um, EHRP clear config all. If you if you can uh, if you check on the preview configuration, so it sends clear config route EHRP, which is going to remove all the EHRP configuration that you had configured. Deploy the device. Deploy the policy to the device, and you should be it should be able to clear the configuration from the device. Now let's check on the device. So as you could see that it has uh, cleared the, all the EJP configuration. With this, uh, we have come to the end of this video. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show how to con use the flex configuration to configure policy-based route on the Firepower Thread Defense. I hope you enjoy this video. See you soon. Thank you. And please subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye.